Okay, now let's look at uh, November 2022, question 9, mass paper 2, grade 12. Okay, let's look at uh, question 9.1 here. It says, in the diagram, O is the center, and then uh, points S, T, and R lie on the circle, quad S, T, S, R, and also T, R are drawn in the circle where uh, Q, S is the tangent to the circle very very critical very very important um guys i must state that this question this question guys there are multiple ways that you can solve this question and then uh, please uh, pay attention until the end of this video so that you fully understand and also you can come up with other different ways that you can solve this question to make sure that you fully understand this question so if also you want us to do other alternative solutions to this question please let me know on the comment section below i'll be more than happy to do that as well all right okay use the diagram to prove that to prove the theorem which state that uh, uh q s which is uh, this one q s t is equal to r to prove this theorem here okay uh, this theorem says that uh, this is what which theorem is this one guys this theorem is this one Tancourt theorem or exterior angle of a cyclic quad you know so please let me know in the comment section below which theorem do you think is this one it's just straightforward straight basics uh, but guys there's a lot of ways i'm i'm still saying it is a lot of ways you can be able to solve this question so please don't be restricted to one way uh, that i'm going to use here but i feel like this one it's much simpler or it was easy for me to explain this one than the others as well and this one also involved a lot of concepts as well so now let's go ahead and prove that uh, s is equals to r okay so right here now let's see we have got um, what we can do first thing that we need to do here we need to construct the radius uh, this is the center radius going to t there is our radius there then radius going to s and therefore we need to join remember i think they we did a previous question i think it was in 2021 please make sure that you watch the whole uh, playlist guys because i'm going to keep referring to this video so if you don't watch all of them you wouldn't know what i'm talking about i think in 2021 we did a question like this where there was tangent drawn from the common point and they ask us to calculate the angles thereof and it was on, on a cyclic quad okay there it is there so already we would know that this side is equal to this side and then we know that we know that here the radius is also equal to the radius therefore also these angles here needs to be the same as well all right i'm just gonna mark them here with a different color so that it's much easier for you guys to see all right okay let me rather not do that let me rather say mark them with the number say this is s1 and then this is two and then i'm gonna put t1 there i'm gonna put t2 there right please guys this is just for the sake of understanding all right but you can draw this as well while you're writing and then the examiner or whoever is marking your answer sheet will be able to see what you did there and make sure that it is easy to follow then it's easy for them to mark it as well all right so now let's come here and say okay what we have here now we can already see that uh, we have got uh, we have got o s q which is equals to 90. okay what is the reason there it's a radius uh, which is perpendicular to the tangent already has drawn towards uh, the tangent or towards the chord they bisect the chord into equal side and they therefore they are also perpendicular so now it simply means now o with o s q is equal to 90 okay we can see that because this line is drawn is a radius drawn to the tangent there therefore it is perpendicular to the radius okay, okay correct so therefore what does this mean this means therefore our s1 plus s2 should be equal to 90 degrees as stated here by this reason there okay great stuff guys so we have got that 
and now when we come here clearly we can see that uh, t s o is equal to s t o okay uh, then uh, according to the way we marked the 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 angles that it means s1 is equal to t1 already we can see guys these are angles opposite the radius opposite angles from equal radii okay okay because we've got equal here this is an isosceles triangle guys like we did on the previous question of 2021 please make sure that you do watch that one as well we know that this one will be equal because these are equal size uh, are suspended by equal angles okay so having that in mind we can come here and say okay in our triangle in triangle which triangle is this one in triangle t s t o s which is this one here that is inside the circle this triangle here guys plus the radius <laughs> We can say that okay the sum of the angles there which is o plus t1 is plus s1 is equal to 180 and then therefore we know that s1 and t1 they are equal so therefore it will be easy for us to substitute t s1 here which is equal to 180 let me not forget the o there all right so this ones we can add them together which gives us o is equal to 180 minus twice s1 okay i think that's fair enough all right and then our reason here will be sum of angles in a triangle that will be our reason okay once we have got that guys we know from the that angle at the center what is angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference okay so angle at the center angle at the center which is o is equal to twice angle at the circumference which is r but we know what is o guys so we know what is o we are gonna come here and substitute o here o is equals to 180 twice s1 divide everything by 2 divide everything by 2 r is equal to 90 minus s1 there you go so we have that as well all right so clearly now guys you can see that once you have that uh, it also means that our s the whole of a uh, okay our s2 will be equal to r okay so therefore with that you can see that our s2 our s2 will be equal to r okay why exterior angle exterior angle of a cyclic cut all right okay so that's how you deal with a question like this one guys uh, let's move on to 9.2 let me just see if there's nothing missing here let me just see let me just see okay there is nothing missing here guys but there's many ways you can deal with this question let's move on to 9.2 9.2 it says chord qn chord qn which is this one here chord Q qn by sex okay let me see chord qn by sex mpn okay mpn okay obviously it's plus 16 it into equal size and the insect chord mp as well at s okay is bisecting them here at this point here point s the tangent at p meets mn produced at r such that qn and pr are parallel let's see qn they are parallel there they are okay they spoke about parallel lines i told you guys so immediately the question must tell you if they speak about parallel lines and all this 
bisecting each other and all that we must start thinking of certain angles guys please let me know in the comment section which angle did you speak about on the video on november 2022 if you're watching the whole series you should know by now what i'm talking about please if you're not please go back and watch from 2022 up until here so that we fully understand the whole series of these questions all right so now p1 is equals to x with p1 we see that okay it's an exterior angle all right that is produced by the tangent and we already know what to do with the exterior angle okay and we know that once this is here and we know that Tancourt theorem is definitely involved no matter what no matter what all right so now let's come here 9.2 9.2.1 you will they said uh, we must determine the following angles in terms of x and give reasons to that as well n2 where is n2 n2 is here they're looking for this n2 n2 we have got parallel lines here all right there you go i can already see there's a z here okay because of these parallel lines so n2 should be equals to x and then because you've got p here, these angles are equal to each other what is the reason there the reason there will be alternating angles alternating angles why because pr is parallel to qn okay simple straightforward guys if you know the basics you shouldn't go wrong okay let's look for q2 where is q2 q2 you are sitting right here there's q2 sitting right here okay let's look at this one now q2 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 let's look at it if you look at it properly it looks like this is because this is a tangent here to this this is a tangent what does the tancourt theorem say it says that exterior angle is equal to of a tangent chord is equal to internal opposite so this is the exterior angle this is the internal opposite here so therefore this should be equal to x as well and then our reason would be tancourt theorem okay let's say for some reason you didn't see that ne? what else could you have you have done again all right if you didn't see that guys you could have done this uh, let me see okay rather let me you know what let me rather say guys if you want to see what else you could have done let me know in the comment section below so that i don't make this video even more longer for you as well and that's how you would deal with these two questions by just applying parallel lines co-interior and also tancord theorem and then uh, let's move on to 9.2.2 all right 9.2.22 all right uh, it says that if you are given that this is uh, something to do with the ratios it says that if you are given that 9.2 2.2 is saying here if you are given that mn all over nr is equals to ms all over sq we need to prove that prove give the reasons that this is the case okay all right let's come here and say okay we know that n1 is n there and n2 we know that n2 n2 as proved previously is equals to x but we can see that already even this x1 x1 here is also n1 is also equals to x there okay uh, the reason for that is that you have got these angles here that are exterior angles you've got a tank code there also exterior angle as well so that makes a uh, n that makes n equal to that as well all right so now let's move on we come here and then we're gonna look at what else is there remember we're trying to prove that this ratio is equal uh, remember they spoke about bisect here 
think this is very important eh? that they bisect it as are they bisecting it into equal sides let's find out but if we have got equal angles we should therefore have equal sides because now already if i've got n2 there let me use a different color for you guys to see what i'm talking about because remember on the right here on the last example when we spoke about the radius if they're equal the, if we've got two equal sides you've got two equal angles so now if this angle here is x and this one is x what does that mean this means that this side and this side they are therefore equal and then if you have got n2 which is equal to n1 which is equal to x therefore also you should be having this side as an x as well therefore this and that should be equal therefore it means the bisector is bisecting this into equal sides okay there's we just need to prove that a little bit more let's come here and then we are going to find out now that a uh, p3 is equal to p3 is equal to Q p is equal to q2 where is p3 here p3 is here you guys can see p3 is sitting somewhere here and then uh, q is equal to q2 which is q2 is equal to here okay okay it's equal to q2 i don't know if i'm explaining this properly guys uh, this is the angles in the same segment i hope you guys can get it in the same segment and then therefore it means p3 it is also equal to x because in the previous question we know that q2 is also equal to x as well i think this question is getting a little bit tedious here but it's fine and then uh, with that we would know that uh, therefore therefore we are looking for the size here we are going to say sq is equal to ps sq which is this side here is equal to ps there you go number equal sides equal angles same thing would apply here okay yeah i think it's clear now same thing would apply here guys mn like i said here because we have got this side here which is angle is equal to x and also this angle here is equal to x as i explained earlier so therefore it means that they have got equal sides at all it means that mn is equal to mq because the angles are equal there and then therefore we also have got and let me see yeah we also have got nr which is e nr is equal to nr is equal to let me see okay not nr rather i'm making a very big mistake there not in r rather but also you can come here and say not in r okay we can come here and say also np is equal to qp equal sides equal angles is the is the motto of the day here guys and then therefore once we have that you can come here and say the reason here it's sides uh, sides uh, opposite angles and then therefore what you're gonna have here you're gonna have mn all over n p n r is equals to ms all over sq i'm feeling like i didn't explain this properly but guys the only way to find us is for you to let me know on the comment section below. I am Gustin Mapala. I will definitely see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question 10 of November 2020 up until 2022. Please stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, send these videos to your friends, your family, your brothers, your sisters, your cousin, and your classmates as well. 